I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my growth and my physical health. I intend to develop self discipline in order to bring out the best of myself and in others. I intend to use what I learned in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never be abusive or offensive. Thank you, sir. Focus on the guard as much as the punch itself. Hey, Kashup, crosses, just the right hand. There you go. That's it. Full range on both. Shoulder extends all the way out. Bring it all the way back. That's better, Sophia. All the way out, all the way back. Exactly. All right, and five. Now we're working our jab cross hook. But still keep in mind, you want to make sure your hand that's not going straight is right by your chip, right by your cheek. I jam across my hook, right back to my guard. Go! Yes, sir. And time. Everybody, great ball and get down to what you perform. Here, we're going to back down my off. The middle is going to be the key. I'm going to have an elbow knee direction. So I'm going to take my left elbow, bring it to my right knee, and hold it there until I can switch. Then we're going to switch. And then I can switch and switch again. I'm just going to keep on holding it and switching. And switch. Right. Start with your left leg to your right shoulder. Or to your right. I just want you to focus. Start with your left elbow to your right knee. And switch. Go. 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 
Now we're going to three more roundouts. If we're doing a roundout, we're six towards the right leg, or six on the right leg to start. For left leg, we're going to be pointing towards the mirrors or our, the windows. I'm going to bring my foot back on me, and I'm going to flick it out, make sure I'm going to point it back and down. Go! Go! Getting your own square. <clears throat> now we know who the troublemaker is. Good side. Good side. <laughs> <laughs> Good We're hand side. Now we're going to put it in the format. So we go to position. Now we go to our neutral guard. And we're going to do one front kick on each leg, one side kick on each leg, and one round on each leg. So just very slowly. So we'll front kick to the right leg, two to the front kick to the left leg, two to the side kick to the left leg, or we go to the right leg, side kick to the left leg. Round down to the right leg, two to round down to the left leg. And then we're straight position. All right, so again, get back to neutral guard. And go front kick. Front kick. Yeah, you know, we'll so, 
and the good line around this to be born sexy when everything we do in it is at a 45 degree angle. Every S block, every chop, every mix, everything. So we're an S block, we have a hand from the chop with our right hand, we have a side hand. S block, chop, side hand. S block, chop, ground up. S block, chop, ground up. S block, chop, whole kick, ground up. S block, chop, face to the ground up. S block, chop, go side kick, side kick, roll on it. S block, and it's actually on the side, chop. S block, last kick, chop, and side kick, ground up, ground up. Actually, you're going to do three set kumite at number one. So okay. you're going to have them work on 10 count kicking. Or actually, you know what? I take that back. Go into short one, and then you can do XF2, and then you can do three set kumites with the advanced team while they work on their stuff. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to do short one time. We're going to do one performance twice. And so you can do it again. I'm going to go right here. Yes. And it's efficient. Yes. I'm tired. Short one. Short one.
Nice, good work, team. Right, and set for the All right, guys, one more performance of that. And position. Do you guys are kind of patient? about 20 seconds long, and you can move in any direction you want. So we'll go straight to work on that.
Zoom team, do you guys have any questions on anything? You just give me like a thumbs up if you have a question. You have a I'm question, good. Thank, thank you. Oh yeah. Yes, Kishab, what's your question? Um uh so yesterday when Renshi was reviewing my creative kumite, yeah. he said that I should add something uh after my double sidekicks. Okay. So I'll just show you my creative kumite really quick. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And then, so right in between the double sidekicks, I yeah. go on to a double punch. Mm -hmm. And when she said that I should add something right in between those two, and I can't really figure out what I should add. Hmm, well, you could make it into like a double roundhouse sidekick hook kick or something like that to make like the kicks themselves a little bit longer into it. Mm -hmm. That might work. Okay. Or you could kind of almost do like a parallel thing where you, whichever, whatever you choose to do, do it on both sides so they kind of mirror each other. That's what I would uh, suggest. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You probably have enough time to do both. If you have them go defensive side kick, step out of range, slide up side kick, and kind of do it as, you know, put both kicks together, right? And then have them do the right side. And then switch to the other side and go back like front kick into the skip front kick. <laughs> and then have them do the other side. Keep going. It's good for you. All right. All right, guys. Hop back off. All right. So first combination here is you and I. Left 
since you're not hitting anything or if you are hitting something do it exactly how mr kester demonstrated it if you're not hitting anything just lean back defensive side kick slide up side remember no slide up on the defensive side kick just lean back and fire <laughs> just have him jump into this yeah yeah Lisa, you're bullying. And time. 50 seconds, right side forward. Exact same drill. Keep it back. Five, five, five. And go. Yes, sir. Keep it back. Keep it back. Keep it back. Keep it Crunches, go! I'll just come up there. Drop! I want to crunches. <laughs>
is sometimes if you're just all positive, you may not see what those obstacles are in advance. And suddenly that person's like, yeah, but how are you going to handle this and this and this? And you go, hey, that's a great question, right? There's my obstacle. Once I handle this, 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 and this, I can get my goal next time, right? So that's why I say, listen to negative people. Just don't let them make your decision, right? And if you find that these are one of those people that quickly see the obstacles and you can set the goal, that's fine. Just understand once you see those things, like you think, I'd love to do it, but I can't because A, B, and C. Great, perfect. That's what a very successful person thinks. Instead of thinking, though, I can't because they just say, and I have to overcome me. So it's really just a different way that you speak to yourself internally. And then once you see those things that you might say, but I can't because, then you just go, okay, well, how do I take those obstacles out of the way? Right? And usually it's by crushing them. We don't go around them, we don't try and go over them, we crush them, right? And then that way we can accomplish all of our goals. So one more time, remember, listen to negative people, just don't let them make your decision. Right? So relax in. Uh, as a dedicated student of the martial arts. As a dedicated student of the martial arts. I will live by the principle of black belt. I will live by the principle of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, 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 integrity,